Hey everyone! Okay, so today I'm going to share with you my BB cream routine. I say BB cream because the BB cream I use, I don't think it really classifies as a BB cream. Not sure, not trying to judge, I think it's more of just like a tenant moisturizer. Not that it matters. Sometimes I choose to use a foundation that's a little bit heavier and it has more coverage. Sometimes I use the BB cream. There's no big selection process, it's just like whatever my mood says. Sometimes I just think the BB cream is the right move and today I decided to share with you my current routine. I've already done my eyes, I have a little lips going on, so we don't have to worry about that. The BB cream I'm going to be using today is the Flower Beauty BB cream in shade BB2. This is available at Walmart, I think that's the only place you can get Flower Beauty. I've already used up a whole tube of this stuff, and when I repurchased it, I actually ordered it online. Because going to Walmart is a pretty miserable experience, or at least my Walmart is like a horrible experience. That's just my truth. So anyway, let's do this. I'm going to show you like the concealer, BB cream, and probably like powder, bronzer, blush, all of that. And then I will be a finished human. I'm looking forward to it, aren't you? First things first, I gotta put my hair up because makeup and hair don't mix. Off camera, I've already applied my primer. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer that I love. And I've also already put on the NYX Matte setting spray and I love this I use it before the makeup and it works amazingly now it's time for the BB cream I am using a rounded kabuki brush and the flower beauty BB cream and BB2 dotting it all over my face and looking hot and now I'm using kind of like a patting motion combined with a blending motion and I'm just trying to like max out the coverage of this BB cream and just spread it around on my face I don't put a lot on my forehead just because I never really put a lot of foundation product on my forehead it just that's how I do it now it's time for under eye concealer I'm using the Maybelline age rewind dark under eye circle eraser something like that complicated names and I'm just doing like the little V under my eyes the color I'm using is brightener and that works really well to cancel out the darkness I've got an eye bag problem that I'm constantly struggling with Maybe some of you know how that feels. Um, I'm spreading it out with my finger because I'm a professional, not really. And uh, I do go over the bridge of my nose because I have a lot of redness there. Now time for a little more concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I dot a little bit on my hand just to spread it out because a little bit goes a long way and I'm just going over all the little spots of redness I have here and there. I really like this concealer despite the fact that our relationship began in tragedy when I instantly smashed the packaging. Anyway, on a lighter note, I'm using a flat top mini kabuki brush to spread this out. I really like this kind of brush for concealer. It kind of just spreads the product without taking a lot away. And yeah, down the bridge of my nose and all those other places. And now I'm going to set this with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. A lot of people use these as highlighting powders, but this color is perfect for a setting powder. It's not too sparkly. It's just right. And I'm just going over the areas that I put concealer. And now I am brightening up the under eye even a little bit more because I'm obsessed with the It Cosmetics Illuminating Powder Foundation. I'm just going under my eyes just a little bit. It's perfect. Now to set even more, I know, um, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and I'm just going over just a couple of areas that need a little bit more coverage. I need what I need. And now for a little bit of contouring, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Powder and in a much deeper color than my regular skin tone. And I'm just going over the areas where everybody typically contours along my jawline, along my cheekbones, and then across the top of my forehead and just a little bit around my nose. I don't really do a lot of that. And uh, I just sucked in my nose and I thought it looked hilarious. <laughs> and now I'm just using a little bit of the Rimmel Matte Bronzer and I'm going kind of over the same areas where I contoured. This helps it blend and kind of just helps me warm up my general skin tone. Um, I just think it looks nice with just a little bronzer. I'm addicted, okay? Now time for blush. I'm using the Benefit Rockateur Blush, which kind of works as a nice light blush as well as an amazing highlighter. I love it. And now I'm just freshening up my lips just a little bit. This doesn't have anything to do with my skin, but I'm using the Clinique Black Honey and I love this stuff. Love it, love it. And I'm done. 
After I finished, I did kind of touch up my brows a little bit because they got a little compromised in the concealer process, um, as well as my lips. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions or requests for new videos, please leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. You can also find me and talk to me on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter. Twitter is a big one. Links will be down below, but generally it's Leanne says absolutely everywhere. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't so you can catch up with all my new videos videos as they come out every week and if you have subscribed thank you so much you guys are my people and I love you and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye everyone this is my finished eye makeup do you like it I hope so now it's time for the lips yes whoa it's crazy dark this is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the color Copenhagen and it's just a super dark cranberry color I love it for fall